What would you do if somebody put your grandmother in a chokehold? They just jumped all over me and choked me. It happened at a small grocery store near Houston and it was caught on camera. Not one single choke, I just been fine. She found a $50 bill on the floor, but the store clerks did not let her leave with it. It's a story that has everybody talking on social media and the shade room just got the full video. I'm Justin Carter, this is TSR Investigates. Betty Smith, she's a 65-year-old grandmother battling cancer. And on January 15th, she says that she thought she was going to die. Not from cancer, but from three white store clerks at the Lindemann Grocery Store in Industry, Texas. She says that she found $50 on the floor. She thought that it was her lucky day, but clearly that wasn't the case. Look at here, I said, my lucky day. But that joy didn't last long. This is new video of Betty Smith moments before the physical encounter. You can see her walking up to the cash register, reach down and pick up a $50 bill. She then shows the clerk. Are you on the phone or are you talking to me? You, I thought I was just on the floor. Oh, that was Caleb. The clerk realized it belonged to Caleb, a friend of hers who six minutes earlier was seen here on surveillance video, dropped the $50 bill as he checked out and left the store. Betty Smith told the workers that she felt more comfortable giving the money to either Caleb directly or the store owner. What about if I'm bringing that to the owner? Not going to happen. I'm, I'm the manager. Yeah. So if you, you ain't the owner though. But I'm the manager for the manager. store. So we have cameras, ma'am. I can call Austin County or I can call our owner up here right now. They threatened to call the Austin County Sheriff's Department on her, but Smith wasn't scared. That's when things went left. Smith starts walking out of the store. The two female clerks and a third male clerk rush over and lock the door. Smith then starts ramming her cart into the girl in the white who identified herself as a manager. You can see Smith reaching for the manager before one of them locks her arms around Smith's neck. They just jumped all over me and choked me. The audio then cuts in and out because police say only certain cameras in the store pick up audio when motion is detected. Several minutes go by. You can tell by the neck rolling that heated words were exchanged. Smith's family shows up first. That's Destiny Cyrus, her granddaughter in the white. She went on Fox Houston to tell her side of the story. I was begging them to let her out. Um, I didn't come up there to start any confusion with anybody, even though everything had went on. You went I, to the store? Yes. You can see Destiny get into a scuffle with the manager as a deputy from the Austin County Sheriff's Office arrives. Destiny is then put in handcuffs. He was so worried about arresting me. I asked him later on, could I take a statement? He refused our statements. Minister Quanell X is an activist in Houston. Let me show you how racist the police is. The police arrest the black girls, her granddaughters, for defending the grandmother, but did not arrest the white girls or the white male for assaulting, beating, and choking the elderly black lady, Miss Betty Smith, the grandmother. That's a damn shame. And that was a big question for Austin County District Attorney Travis Cohen, who spent over a month reviewing the case and considering charges not only for the physical altercation, but whether or not Smith should be charged for stealing the $50. In a 15-page release, D.A. Cohen said, quote, Texas law for decades has held that a person commits theft if he or she finds property and takes it, despite knowing and believing that the true owner can be found. It also goes on to say that, quote, the customer may have mistakenly believed that the employees were lying about whether the true owner could be found. This belief, although mistaken, could provide a legal defense at trial, end quote. And for that, the grand jury recommended no charges be filed against Smith for taking the $50. The DA also claims, quote, that Texas law permits employees to hold the suspected person even after the person no longer holds the stolen property. And those employees had the right to perform a citizen's arrest as the law authorizes them to use the same amount of force that a police officer could under the same circumstances. The grand jury, however, chose not to move forward with assault or abuse 
abuse charges on both sides because no one was injured as a result of the altercation. But you guys are saying that's not enough. We want those three white individuals charged for the abuse and violating Mrs. Smith's human and civil rights. And we want them to be charged justly and fairly and let the punishment fit the crime of what they did against Ms. Smith. And that's why they planned a second protest at the Austin County Courthouse on February 28th. We're also told that the Houston FBI office assigned an agent to this case for further review. The owner of that grocery store has since apologized to Betty Smith, fired all three of those employees, and offered her $50 for her troubles. She declined. For TSR Investigates, I'm Justin Carter. Hello roommates and thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Do you want more TSR Investigates? Be sure to subscribe and check us out at theshaderoom.com.